collection. With Lebrun and Deladier in charge, there will be continuity of French policy. A film occasion in HMS Arc Royal. Film chiefs who have assisted in the creation of the Royal Naval Film Corporation attend its inauguration by the First Lord aboard the new aircraft carrier. The Duke of Kent was to have honoured the company, but a sore throat prevented him. However, as you'll hear, he addressed the audience through the medium of film. Proceedings are initiated by Lord Stanhope in a speech which has since acquired fame, but don't expect to hear the portions of it that were suppressed. Because all I have to do now is to ask that His Royal Highness's speech shall be given to us and to make way so that it shall appear as originally arranged. And this is the Duke of Kent's film speech. We have invited the head of every British and American film distributing company to be our guests tonight. That is why I will end my remarks by saying to our guests, on behalf of the Royal Naval Film Corporation, thank you very much. Flying home from Stockholm in the Swedish airliner, Britain's trade ambassador